Yo, what is good, YouTube, man? Shiesty Man Jones is back. Now, listen, bro. I heard a lot of people been asking, how do I get the extra badges? How do I get the extra badges? How do I get the extra badges? I done finished over 100 some of these VR quests, bro, and I still don't have the extra badges. Well, listen, ladies and gents, I have figured out the exact way to get all plus eight badges on your build. Now, as y'all can see, this is my build right now. You know what I'm saying? It's not too maxed out, nothing like that, but y'all see it, bro. I have 22, 16, 20 and 29 you feel me i'm originally not supposed to have this many badges i'm gonna pop up on the screen right now of uh, how many badges i used to have i had like 27 defending maybe and i think i had like i don't know like 16 finishing something something crazy or things of that nature you feel me but look i'm gonna show y'all how to get the extra badges in this one video you feel me but listen man if y'all do in fact enjoy this video go ahead and drop a like you feel me and subscribe to the channel because why not you feel me and also <laughs> Hey yo, follow my Twitter gang. <laughs> Do it. This isn't a negotiation. Anyway, bro, let's get right into this banger. All right, man, this is the fastest way to get the plus four badge off the rip. If you already know how to get the plus four, go ahead and skip to this point in the video. You feel me? You feel me? The first thing I want to do is come up to the settings, change your difficulty to rookie, bro. This is going to allow you to do it way quicker, way faster. You feel me? Also, secondly, come up to the controller settings. Take your jump shot meter off, bro. You don't want this on, but you want to be able to green every shot every single time. Next, you're going to need a good jump shot. This is the jump shot rock right here. Go ahead and take it. This jump shot, I'm pretty sure anyone can get this jump shot 76 three ball or 76 mid range. Lastly, if you can, go ahead and put on a step back that's going to give you the most space. I recommend Chris, Paul, or Basic if you don't have, you know what I'm saying, too high ball handle, you feel me? Now, if it's your first time playing this game, obviously the first thing I want to do is come over to Christine, Miss Christine, you feel me? She's going to give you all the quest line to do all of the, you know what I'm saying, VR quests in the game. Y'all see these people? She's going to give you a quest line to do all of these VR quests in the game. Now, you only have to complete 30 of these VR quests to get all four of the extra badges instantly in this game. Everyone else do not matter, but I have to follow the exact way I do it. So you don't waste no time, you get it the fastest way possible. All right, now, as soon as y'all beat the first two, you know what I'm saying, games that Miss Christine tells y'all to beat, that she's going to give you a whole quest line of quests. The only two y'all want to be doing is Sam and Revis. Those are the only two quests y'all want to be doing off the rip, off the hezzy. These are the only two people that actually matter to get to the plus four badges. You can come over to the southwest, I'm pretty sure, of the trips. And you walk up to Revis, and you also walk up to to sam these are the only two people you're going to be wanting to follow the rest of them are irrelevant unless you're going for other things too you see the first two questions she's going to give you is amazing atlantic and best in the southwest as soon as you do these you know what i'm saying these little um my court games it's going to advance the way you do your quest of course of course now depending on whoever you pull up on first it doesn't really matter it's still going to you know what i'm saying go with the progress of this john I put up on Harden, Mikhail Bridges, and Jalen Brown first. And all y'all want to be doing is hitting the step back. Go up a little bit off the three-point line, step back, and hit the three in his face every single time. Now, look, once you score about, you know what I'm saying, eight to nine points, you feel me, they're going to start double-teaming. I'm going to show you that real quick. But, look, again, just step back, green and shot every single time. Nothing too crazy. But, look, once you start scoring around, like, nine, 12, eight points, you feel me, they're going to start double-teaming you. Now, when they start double-teaming you, all you're going to want to do is hold triangle or pass the ball to your open teammate. As I did with AD, you can pass it to him in the corner if you want to, or you can hold triangle or hold Y on Xbox. So again, I'm going to show you this one more time. They start double teaming me, hold Y, make the other person run, make the open person run to the court and get an easy, easy bucket real quick. You feel me? That's what y'all going to do the whole time through this whole thing. Depending on if they actually do assist or something, obviously you have to do other things. But look, as y'all can see, they doubled me. I, you know what I'm saying? Pass on the ball, whatever, green bean, knock it down. You feel me? And look, the next quest you're going to want to get, well, the next quest they're going to give you is five assists or five blocks. Now, if you have a defensive build, go ahead and do the five blocks. But I personally don't have a defensive build. So what y'all going to do is do the assist. Of course, of course. Now, the next opponents don't really matter. They're all trash anyway. You feel me? All you want to do, step back green, get the points up a little bit. I'm pretty sure all you have to do is get your points up to around nine to 12 points. Something like that. You feel me? You'll still be able to get your five assists. I went ahead and got it up to 12, you know what I'm saying, 12 points. And then I went for my assist because I knew that they was going to start doubling me. Just go ahead and get all five of the assists, you feel me, you feel me, and do it real quick, real quick, real simple. I got all five assists, and it was really that simple. Ain't nothing too hard, you feel me? And then the quest was done. I beat them. I did two quests at one time, you feel me? So y'all want to be double stacking these quests, you feel me? Next quest is get six points in the paint 
or get five assists. Basically, all you got to do is just score in the paint six times or get five assists. In my opinion, I don't have like a full on slasher type deal. I can dunk, but the AI defense be weird in this game. So you might as well just not even go for the, you know what I'm saying, dunks. In my opinion, just go for the, you know what I'm saying, assists because they're going to start doubling you and it's just going to be a waste of time going for all of that. But look, they move out after I cooked them. I got the next quest, which was South Division All Stars. Luca, Ja, Zion Williamson, but that don't even matter because y'all always want to be checking what's the next quest that you have to do. So you be able to, you know what I'm saying, maneuver, maneuver, but bam, y'all see it, just score 10 points. That's all you have to do for the next quest. Obviously, just go in there, go into the next game, you feel me? Cook up Luca or whoever you're gonna be guarding. You might be guarding Ja, you might be guarding Zion. Whatever the case may be, just cook them up, score, you know what I'm saying, a nice little 10 points or whatever, and then bam, you can just pass the ball, you can start passing the ball, or you can just keep scoring. It doesn't really matter. In my opinion, just pass the ball after you score 10 points, and then in the game, whatever the case may be, it's really just that simple. I see a lot of people saying that, oh, it's mad hard, oh, la, 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 la. I'm at four, I'm at a hundred something, bro, hundred and something quest. Just follow this quest line, you feel me? The next quest, same thing. Just score another 10 points or get two blocks. Doesn't really matter. If you can score, if you can score, if you can't, you can't. It is what it is, you feel me? They give you another deal. Next next player you're going to be playing is, I'm pretty sure, Jalen Brunson, uh, E-Wing, and I forgot the other dude. But just cook them up, same thing. Score 10 points, then throw assists, and it's going to be done. It's going to be wraps real quick, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro, these games are not hard. I see a lot of people saying, it's mad hard, it's mad hard, it's mad hard. Cap. You feel me? It's cat. You feel me? Now look, you're gonna get the quest to talk to Sam. Do not talk to Sam yet. I'm telling y'all, don't talk to her yet. Just do the next best in the Southwest quest. You feel me? Just do that next quest. It's gonna be easy. Your opponents is gonna be Akeem Olajuwon, Dirk, and Tim Duncan. It might be a little bit hard because they are a little bit taller, but you'll get you'll get it done. You feel me? Especially if you have a shoot and shooting build with sharp shooting takeover. I don't have sharp shooting takeover in this build, so it is what it is. But after I pack these gemmos up real quick you feel me it was nothing it was literally slight work you feel me i'm telling y'all bro 100 after y'all pack them up and y'all do the little step back you know what i'm saying green beans every single time you're gonna get the quest to go talk to revis and sam now the reason why i told you how to save the sam talk is so you'll be able to talk to them both at the same time to load them both at the same time i don't know if y'all gonna understand that but a lot of people you know what i'm saying be confused with it but look after you talk to revis and sam their quest line will be finished Obviously, I said to talk to both of them so that so the game don't bug out or something because some people say that it bugs out. But look, after you're done talking to them, what you're going to want to do is go to your quest line. You're going to get four new people. The rest of these people are irrelevant. The only quest you want to be doing for is Peepa and Rodney. You know what I'm saying? The janitor and that Mary Misfit girl, she does not matter. The only two people you want to be doing the quest for is Peepa and Roddy. The rest of these young wolves are all relevant. Now, to talk to Peepa, you have to go up to the top of the Gatorade facility. And to talk to Rodney, you have to go to the southeast part of Trip. So, yeah. So, as y'all go over here to talk to Peepa, she's going to give you the southeast division challenges, obviously. Not easy, mad simple. Nothing too crazy. You feel me? You feel me? Now, you can go talk to Rodney first, but I just wanted to go finish the first micro game so all the, you know what I'm saying, challenges can link together. You feel me? The first people you're going to be playing, Murray, Poe, Butler. You feel me? Just go ahead and pack them boys up real quick. It ain't nothing too crazy. It ain't nothing too, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing too shmemmy. You feel me? Again, once y'all score around 8, 9, 10, 12 points, you feel me? They're going to start doubling on you. Just wait for the double team and go ahead and pass the ball in. And in the game, it ain't nothing too crazy. You feel me? A lot of people was messing up on that. Y'all see, I scored 9 points. I went to the passing. And then, what y'all want to do, you're going to get the 10 flashing flashy passes quest again like i said just beat the first quest and then go talk to rodney and then he's gonna give y'all you know what i'm saying the south um, the pacific division whatever the trash is called he's gonna give you all that quest just go back to the my court and then you'll be able to do the 10 flashy passes and the my court game at the same exact time next opponents devin booker draymond green fox they're all dirt respect to them only good one, in my opinion, is Fox and Dem Booker. I don't really bang with Draymond. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But look, after y'all cook them boys up, you know what I'm saying? Just pass the ball around. You can you can do the flashy passes in the beginning, but I just did it at the, you know what I'm saying, a little bit later into the game. I started doing it a little bit later into the game. I'm pretty sure I did it around like 20 points. You can do it whenever you feel like it, but I just wanted to get the score up because I knew I was going to be able to get the flashy passes off mad quick. As y'all can see, I waited till around 20 points, and then I started going for the flashy 
passage. If I mean, it's mad simple. It's mad simple, bro. If y'all have any problems with this, bro, just let me know in the comments below. If you don't know how to do a flashy pass, all you want to do is double tab B, run in a certain direction, run in like a certain direction, and then double tab B. Then once you get all your flashy passes, just go ahead and end the game. It's not too crazy. It's really simple. You feel me? You feel me? Now look, again, always check your quest after the game because the next quest you're going to have to do is teammate grade A or higher. Now you can do that just by playing park or something, but if you want to do it doing the, you know what I'm saying, the my court way, obviously all you want to do is just play good defense. Do not leave the people open. Play good defense. You know what I'm saying? Go for rebounds and things of that nature. Ain't nothing too crazy about it. Play some good defense. Maybe try to get an assist. You feel me? You feel me? Go ahead. Play some good defense. Shoot the ball a little bit. Get some assist up. And you'll have the A teammate grade, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. If your build can't play defense, that's tough. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't even going to lie to you, bro. That's tough. But look, after I was done that, they gave me the next jump, which I had to complete eight games. Well, win eight games or, you know what I'm saying, play two NBA games. Now, you can play the two NBA games, but don't play the two NBA games yet. You feel me? Go ahead and get the A plus or the A and you know what I'm saying park or 3v3, whatever the case may be. I want to get in a 1v1 court, but it was because it was a lot faster. You feel me? You feel me? Just go ahead and cook some in a one court and then come back over to the quest, the quest tab. You feel me? You're gonna get the, you know what I'm saying, win the my court game. And the my court game, when you win this my court game, you beat KD. Paul George and I'm pretty sure Demontis Sabonis, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Once you beat them, the quest you're gonna get next is to get a double double in my career. That is going to be the next quest that they're going to give you. I'm gonna show y'all this real quick. After I beat them bozos, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing too crazy about it. Ain't nothing too shmimmy. You feel me? They're giving you the quest to get a double double in my career. This is where it links in with the win to NBA games. Y'all tell me how, y'all see how I'm telling y'all to wait on certain quests, you feel me? This is just gonna give y'all the two NBA, I'm about the two double-double quests, win two NBA games, you feel me, or complete two NBA games, you feel me, you feel me? Pretty simple, pretty simple, pretty sleek. If your build can get rebounds, your build can get rebounds. If your build can't get rebounds, go ahead and go for the assist with the points. That's gonna be the easiest way possible, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro, 100%. After I was finished this game, I booked them your most, I, you know what I'm saying, I packed them up real quick. Ain't nothing too crazy about it. I think I scored like, 30 after scored 30 four rebounds 11 assists double double real quick they sub me out the third quarter so it wasn't even too nice it wasn't even nothing too crazy about it you feel me now look you can complete the last nba game but me personally i didn't really feel like completing the last nba game i just wanted to get the you know what i'm saying the next my court game done your opponents this is going to probably be the hardest opponents out of everybody now look if you're guarding kobe bro i'm telling y'all He's going to be playing like he's Michael Jordan. I don't know why he didn't really do it today when I was playing him. But when I was playing him on my other build, this man was playing like he was Michael Jordan. I don't know. He's playing like prime Michael Jordan, prime Kobe, right? I ain't going to lie. The AIs, the AIs got to fix. They got to fix the AI defense and things of that nature. But after I packed them up, you feel me? It was nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. It was just a little bit more progression towards my, you know what I'm saying? What's that badge called? What's that What's that quest called? The uh, the, the win plus plus games. And then you'll be able to talk to Rodney after you beat Kobe and them. After you'll be able to talk to Rodney, bro, go ahead and go talk to them. There's really no reason on why y'all should be waiting off on this one. Go ahead and go talk to Rodney. There's really no reason on why y'all should be waiting on that one because we're going to be getting the extra four badges from either people or him. So you might as well just go ahead and go talk to him. And after y'all done, you have to either win four or more games or you'll have to win an NBA game. Me, in my opinion, I just went ahead and just played the, um, you know what I'm saying, 1v1 one -one court, and y'all see it in the gameplay, bro. I'm out here cooking these boys. They don't really know what to do. This is on my 76 three-ball build as well. So if you're wondering why I'm greening, bro, it ain't no hot three-ball, nothing like that, you feel me? This is my 76 three-ball. Y'all can see it in the gameplay. I'm cooking up these boys. It's kind of crazy, bro. I heard a lot of people saying that you can't green with a 76. I'm out here greening with a 76 three-ball. I don't know if people was capping or what, but I'm out here agreeing with a 76 three ball. But y'all see it, bro. I did the quest. The last opponents you're going to get is Shaq, Tim Hardaway, and Paolo Basharel, bro. After y'all cook these bozos up, the quest line will be done. And that's what's, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's when we're going to get into the extra plus four for the, you know what I'm saying? The people that want the plus eight and everything like that. But look, after y'all, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and cook up these boys. Step back again. Or however else you want to score, if you want to go for the assist. Me, I just step back every time, you feel me? Ain't nothing too crazy about it, you feel me, you feel me? But after y'all go ahead and cook these boys up, you know what I'm saying? They might double team you. Well, they are going to double team you after you score a certain amount of points. Go ahead and finish the game up, pack them up. It's over, it's over, you feel me? Ain't nothing too crazy about it. And that's when the whole quest line will be done. You'll be able to talk to 
people, all you want to do is go back to the, you know what I'm saying, Gatorade facility or go up to the top of the Gatorade facility, basically. And you'll get the sponge takeover. That don't really matter. After y'all get the takeover, you know what I'm saying, you will get the option to talk to Miss Christine once more. Once again, you'll get the My Points Accelerator and the plus four badges, bro. You feel me? You feel me? After y'all talk to Miss Christine, bro, it's reps. It's over. You'll get the plus four badges. You feel me? Now, she's going to tell you how to talk to Courtney Robert. If you want to go for them, you know what I'm saying, challenges, you can. You feel me? You feel me? But that don't even really matter. You feel me? We get the plus four badges. That's what y'all came here for. Y'all want to know what's the fastest way to get them. This is what y'all want to do. Basically, you want to follow, you know what I'm saying, Revis and Sam Questline, and then follow, you know what I'm saying, Peepa and Rodney's, you know what I'm saying, Questline. Now, look, you might go to your badges and be like, Where's the, where's the plus four badge? What you want to do is quit the game and load back into your build or fully quit the game. Whatever y'all want to do, it doesn't really matter. Once y'all quit the game and load back in, you will have the plus four badges. As y'all can see, I have 16, 16, 20, and 27. Obviously, you can go ahead and put it on however you want to. But look, as I told y'all, I did not cap. All you have to do is complete 30 rival quests to get the plus four badges. You feel me? Now, listen, bro. I know what y'all may be thinking. How do I get the other plus four on this build to make it eight? total badges all together now look let me run y'all down with how to do this now basically what y'all want to do is y'all want to have at least one build to 90 over y'all see my two-way floor space and slash right here he's already 93 over all now after you have your 90 overall build you feel me you can make whatever build y'all want to you feel me doesn't really matter but once you come to this builder screen you have to click make your build a rebirth so you can already have the plus four badges to this build off the rip once you hop on the next build obviously it's gonna be a fresh build nothing on you feel me but once you come over to the badges screen you're gonna already have your plus four that you gained on your main build you feel me and then after you know what i'm saying you have the plus four obviously what you're gonna want to do if y'all want to upgrade the build y'all can if y'all don't want to y'all don't have to but i've tried it i've tested it there's no flashback games this year there's none of the extra stuff to help y'all get extra badges besides this literal method you have to make a rebirth build and then do all of the quest over again on each and every single rebirth build or if you just want to make one build obviously you have to redo the quest on that build and then you'll get another plus four to that rebirth your main build i'm sorry them four badges is all you're going to get you can't get you know what i'm saying another plus four unless you just remake the same build and then you know what i'm saying you feel me you feel me but to get the other plus four to make it eight, you only can get it on rebirth builds. I know a lot of people have been asking, what about the flashback games? What about the career challenges and things like that? Bruh, if y'all finish all the career quests in the game, let me know because I try, I've did, done basically all of them and nothing has happened. You feel me? But look, man, that's how y'all gonna get the extra plus four to make it eight total badges. I didn't cap to y'all, you feel me? You do, in fact, get eight total badges so if you see any of my build videos you feel me you're gonna have to make that a rebirth build you feel me so look if you want the plus eight that's how y'all want to do it but look man if y'all have watched all the way to the end and you haven't liked yet what are you doing <laughs> like seriously bro you watched the whole vid and didn't like or subscribe that's kind of disrespectful but look man i'm out this joint peace